Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving to all of you from from Pedro Gomez Jr. That's me for PG's Continuing Journey Channel and and I am down point four this week at weigh in. Yes, weigh in is a day early because I want to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving dinner and time with the family. So but let me read you exactly the way I wrote it on my blog this week. Down point four at early weigh in, 275.4. That's my current weight. Not happy with myself. But I keep going. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody who is reading this. In this case, who is listening to this or watching this. Anyway, I like to call every Thursday Thankful Thursday, and so I sit down to reflect, sit down and reflect on something. In other words, what is it that I'm thankful for? Well, on this Thanksgiving Day 2024, I'm thankful for family. I am also thankful for peace. And of course, I am thankful for my health and wellness journey, which is continuing, continuing, yes, in spite of my goal weight and much of my wardrobe has been very difficult for me to, for me to reach, and the COVID pandemic shutdown and the 60 pounds I gained during that time played a huge role in my recent self-esteem issues. That's why I said I'm still not happy with myself being at this number, but... I keep going and at least I went down something. Anyway, of course, wait a minute, start again. As far as last week was concerned, I was recovering from last last week's weigh-in, which I was up four pounds. That time was a which was a combination of too much fast food eating and the stress of life happen, happening catching up to me. And those were the you know, two big non-skill victories I was talking about. However, I think I made a good comeback by keeping fast food as minimum as possible. I just had um, a bagel with cream, with vegetable cream cheese from Dunkin' Donuts doing the walk through an errands and getting some of these things ready for this Thanksgiving dinner. I did enjoy some Puerto Rican food along the way. Some fried catfish, bacalaito, and some yuca, and some green plantains. And some pastel, Puerto Rican, I tried a Puerto Rican pastel, yes. But added some lettuce to them. My activity, as always, depended on my time and schedule and fitted regular exercise into my routine. Last Friday I did 10 minute solutions on um, yoga for beginners with Angie Stewart. That was because I was tired. And I did some other 10 minute solution DVD workouts. I did Leslie Sense on last Friday, the advanced, I posted that last Saturday. I'm doing less of sense on right now in between the, my meals. You know, light breakfast, light brunch, light a little snack. I have some, a couple more small bacalitos as a snack with some coffee. So of course the reason the reason for my early weigh-in is because I plan to enjoy Thanksgiving dinner with the family as well as time with them. But instead of sitting down on the sofa to watch the annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, I plan to move with one of my Leslie Sanderson DVDs today. And as I said, it is the five, her five days slim down. I just completed the warm up walk and the first four miles. I'm about to do the do and post the fifth mile and cool down, cool down walk in a moment. Anyway, as it is raining outside at this moment, today is heavy rain. It hasn't rained this heavy in quite a long time. No, I know some folks are attending other parades or Thanksgiving Day activities and going any what they call what they call it a Thanksgiving trout. In which they do a 5k run before the big turkey day meal. Anyway, I also plan to eat what I need to eat. So in that in my case, which includes the turkey, baked potato, Puerto Rican pork also known as pernil, carrots, and a rubber velvet cake for dessert. Now my, my auntie's grandson is here to celebrate his birthday as well. And I say by getting the, the red velvet cake mix and cream cheese frosting, I saved well over $30 on them getting us uh, ice cream cake to celebrate his birthday. He can have the, um, the cake that we baked, that my auntie baked last night. Beautiful. And speaking of last night, 
thank God my ride home from work was very smooth because once again the A train ran into all kinds of problems. It was temporarily suspended because of a water main break that happened in Uptown Manhattan. And so I took my did my number one alternative, the five train to Brooklyn College and the Q thirty five bus. Both of those were very quick and my auntie picked me up from there because it was a thirty minute long wait for the Q twenty two bus and I was like, I'm not waiting on any other gate, any other day I should say. I would have done the um I would have gotten a nice walk in, but it was too dark and you don't know what kind of greases are hanging out, especially the, on Thanksgiving Eve. Anyway, hopefully I will have an extra day to make another comeback as I want to get out get to the two sixties as soon as I can get there. Right now I am still not happy with myself being at two seventy five point four as I said. But I have to keep going and do what I got to do. To make my comeback happen. So that's it. Once again. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. To you and your loved ones. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your time together. If you're doing any of that. And uh, most importantly. To be thankful for what you got. I think that's a classic song from the 70's isn't it. Just be thankful. For what you got. Anyway. No, one of the big challenges coming my way is is I'm gonna be moving soon, so gotta so it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of challenges, but at least it'll be done in time before the challenges that I do not want to deal with, and that includes the A shutdown coming up in January. But I better leave it at that. Better be careful about not saying too much about it because of course those challenges will come when they get there. It's gotta be prepared. Anyway. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone.